Um, let me first tell you what it's like from the point of view of a teacher at TIS. Um, the one thing that kept me back at TIS is that we enjoy enormous professional autonomy. Uh, and TIS positions itself as an institution that works between scholarship and the state. So anybody who's interested in working with systems, improving systems, I mean, this is a great place to be. Um, all of us faculty, we do a lot of research, we do teaching, we work on the field uh, and we also inform policy. So that combination is really good and it's kept me here. So at TISS, all of us faculty are active researchers uh, and uh, in addition to teaching, we are pursuing uh, research of interest to us and actively publishing. And at, especially at the master's level, we want to induct students into this culture of research. Uh, so some of the things that we've been trying to do is to um, introduce students to research on topics in which faculty are interested and involved because that way students get to research what is most current uh, and they're able to contribute uh, to knowledge formation so that's one uh, strategy that we use at the center the other is that at the center we have organized ourselves into research groups so that we can highlight areas of educational research so we have a research group working on critical humanities and social sciences we have a research group that works on um, educational policy and development um, inclusive education science and maths education um, and students get to be part of these research groups uh, and because these research groups are involved in collaborations with international organizations, national groups working on the field, students get opportunities to do these kinds of things within the research groups. I realized uh, quite a long time ago when I began my own research journey that India is rich and unique uh, because there are so many organizations on the field uh, experimenting and trying to improve things and within these organizations a lot of critical insight into the realities of the field has actually developed in fact some of the most important insights into early literacy science maths education have actually take place in these organizations um, so uh, many of us are networked with these organizations and we decided that one of the important ways for students to learn is to actually go to these organizations, spend time in them and learn literally sitting at the feet of these practitioner masters on the field. So we do this at this. Uh, we have two opportunities through which students engage with the field. One is what we call a field attachment where we literally place them uh, with organizations with whom we are networked. Uh, and that's a very enriching pro process. Students have had opportunities to work with Vidyodaya, uh, which is nestled in the Nilgiri Hills. Uh, and, you know, study how tribal education issues, what are those issues? What do people try to do to enable tribals to engage with mainstream education? Some of them have, a, have a, had opportunities to work with Homi Baba Center for science education. So in these ways, we share our own wider social capital with students, giving them opportunities for field work. The other thing that students do is also sign up as interns for internships with organizations. This is a little later uh, in the program with us when they also have something to contribute to the organization. Uh, and that's also uh, working to be a fairly fruitful experience.